segments in just a little bit here. Uh, if you want to stop access on a volume for some period of time, you would just come to this configuration page, click on the disabled submit, and uh, the volume would basically be offline until it's uh, re-enabled. You can set up directory quotas. Okay. Uh, in this case, it's not enabled. We could enable it. But say you have multiple users that, or, or uh, you've created a, uh, a, a multiple shares on a NAS volume. And, and you want to select one of those shares and limit the amount that that particular share can, uh, can access, you would do that on this page. We can also tiering, have tiering. You would add hot tier and go through and set up your hot tier. On this system here, I do have hot tiers set up. So you would go in and you can check on the status of your hot tier. So hot tier are uh, policy of uh, the most used and the most recent used files that it stays on a hot tier and as they age or they're used less, then they move to the cold tier or get demoted to the cold tier. Is that correct? Right. Correct. Uh, you can see here uh, uh, a, a lot of the uh, uh, configuration on the tiering is configurable. Uh, these are not the defaults. Uh, uh, these settings that, that I'm using here is because I'm primarily writing, 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 writing and I don't want to be held up by uh, the time it takes to access the storage that I'm using, which is not local. <laughs> uh, so my hot tier is, is, is giving me a, uh, uh, the, the speed I need uh, for, my, uh, uh, for my volume. Uh, and then as it's, as, as the uh, slower storage is being updated, you can see demoted files, 29,437 promoted files. So I'm not promoting very much, but I'm demoting a lot. I'm sending a lot of files to the, uh, uh, to the slower storage and keeping the files that I access frequently in the faster hot tier storage. Like I say, uh, these settings are configurable uh, to, to whatever uh, you would need depending on uh, how you're using the system. If you want uh, files, to, if you're just trying to, if you're doing mostly writes, mostly writes, mostly writes, uh, and very few reads, then you want to set uh, these watermarks at a lower number so that it's writing uh, uh, constantly to the uh, cold tier and not using up your hot tier, okay? If, 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 if you're writing, reading, writing, reading, writing, reading, then you would adjust these uh, 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 for a slower demotion rate so that uh, uh, files that you're reading frequently stay in the hot tier for faster access to the, from the hot tier, okay? And here again, it, it tells you where each of the images are are located so and your cold tier and hard tier could be any kind of tiers of storage that you have could be the fastest tier of storage we um, you know we have is nvme then the next one is uh, ssd flash uh, sas 12 gig and then um, it goes to the hard drive which is 12 gig sas hard drives uh, and then uh, those hard drives could be 7,200 RPM, 10,000 RPM, and 15,000 RPM drives. And then another tier would be cloud tier, which would be, uh, you know, hot uh, blobs and cool blobs or S3s or other type of storage that uh, are cloud-based. Those are, and so we could possibly have a flash SSD as a local tier and then cold tier could be cloud so we can write to the hot tier 
uh, as like a, a edge appliance. So that keeps the latest and greatest, uh, the, the, you know, uh, files for us. So it's access time is very low because it's on the local disk. And then, you know, as is less used or is ages based on our policy, it moves to lower tier and that lower tier could be the cloud as well. Correct.